Welcome to Curse BI. My name is Chris. This is Dax. And we're today we're going to be going over this brand new feature about Excel tables from Power BI that's in public preview. It's out now. I think you're going to find it super easy to use, especially because now you can get more than 150,000 records. Oh, can't wait. Digital Alliance is counting on you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, turn on that alarm bell so you don't miss any future emission. Okay, so this feature was released just a couple of days ago, allowing you to connect Excel tables from Power BI. Um, so really easy to do. How do, how do I connect it? Basically, you're going into the menu, you're selecting summarize data, and you're getting the file format, you're choosing the file format that you want, right? So you gotta do a couple of clicks, but let's see if it's as easy as this blog post says. Uh, links are gonna be down in the uh, comments below on this one. So let's check it out. So I head over to my Power BI report uh, and I go down to the bottom and this is the data that I wanna get out. This is, uh, you know, it's in my classic report, you know, normally you'd go through and do all these filtering, but now because I have more than 150,000 records, I know I don't have to filter it down and export this stuff. I could just go into this new feature and you kind of come over here and you can kind of see they have this uh, export data right here, right? So that's what we're gonna be checking out. Dex, don't get too comfortable, this is gonna go quick. All right, up pops this new screen. All right, so data with the current layout, and it'll give me the information as it is, or I can choose this summarize data, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on summarize data. I want my file format to be the Excel with the 5,000 row limit. Ooh, live connection, yeah. This does allow me to refresh it so that I, I can get that over and over again. So this is a great way to like, have that detailed report that you wanted to have, right? This is fantastic. Hit export. My data is gonna pop up. I'm gonna open up Excel. And Excel's gonna pop up. I'm gonna have to enable editing and I'm gonna have to enable content because this, this is about to run some scripts against the Power BI service. I hit enable and holy cow. That's it. There's all my data. It's all right here. All my data is now available for me. It's all in here. I can even go to my data and queries and connections. Oops. Ah. Queries and connections, right? So on the data tab, you click on uh, queries and connections. You can get information on this connection right here. If I double click on it and go over to my definitions tab, you'll see that it's connected uh, to the server and it's running uh, this actual query right here. This is the the, uh, the actual DAX statement that it's running to get that information back. This looks like it's gonna be a great way to actually also get that DAX statement if you're looking to uh, export this on a regular basis, but this is up and running. I can go in and I can just refresh this like I, I'd want to, so I can hit refresh. Boom, I've got a fresh pull of that data and I'm good to go. All right, Dax, what'd you think? Pretty short, pretty simple, fairly easy. I think this is a great way to now get a whole mess of data outside of Power BI. Some things to note on this, uh, cap is still 500,000 records. This is a preview feature, so if it kind of crept out, it kind of crept out, uh, although, Looks like this should be a, a fairly straightforward feature. I, I, you know, like, would be terribly worried about this, but it is a preview. Uh, some notes, you have to have uh, read XML endpoints turned on, and you have to have, uh, you have to have export to Excel enabled inside your service for this to work. And you have to have some form of a Power BI license uh, in order to get this up and running. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear if you guys are gonna to start to put this in your solution architecture. I know I'm going to put this in. Uh, I got a couple ideas for a few reports that we were building out in Paginated that we're just gonna switch over to this because it's gonna be easier. So excited about this. Uh, let me know what you guys think and anything you can do to support the channel, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'd really appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.